Hip Hop, Music or Lifestyle. From its Caribbean roots to suburban America, hip hop has evolved. It became a culture, a culture of crime, money, sex, and hate. Every day another life is lost, another child neglected, another future uncertain. Many embrace this culture, others just want out. American churches spend thousands of dollars on overseas missions, offering their prayers, their support, and their money. Yet the inner city goes virtually unnoticed. Some say it's too dangerous. Others, they're beyond all hope. My whole life it was bit on getting some change, getting some fame, honey, how things could change. The beat coming from the car on the street is topping the charts. It's in movies and video games. It's defining a generation. It has influenced many people, including John Chambers, a student at Missouri Baptist University. A lot of people look at hip hop as a type of music, I, I beg to differ with that. I say that hip hop is the culture. Hip hop is the culture, it's the way of doing things, it's the way you think, the way you carry yourself, the way you feel about different areas of life. Hip hop, as the world presents it, is a culture that endorses sex, drugs, money, cars, alcohol. The hip hop style is new, but the idea is not. People have been combining rhythmic speech and music since the 1600s. Hip hop as we know it today began in the 1970s as party and dance music. The MC set rhymes to instrumental samples of pre-produced music. It is likely the most original music force that has come around in the last 30 years. Dr. Lad Fazold, Fine Arts Division Chair and Music Professor at Missouri Baptist University, believes that music has a profound effect on the mind. We know that the uh, way music is performed and presented can affect the way people think about it, and sometimes it's how we perceive it. And if we listen to certain types of music, we're going to have certain reactions. Rap reflects life in the inner city. Its lyrics expose the culture and how people live. Marcus Gray knows this from his experience growing up on the streets of St. Louis. They put to words in ways that were so, I mean, it was so artistic that you felt like these dudes were your big brothers and they were your parents, you know what I'm saying? So when they would do that over beats, it was more than just music. It was like these dudes, my heroes. Streets are crying out. 